Today I'm going to show you step by step how to make a gorgeous keto charcuterie board. It's a perfect snack or appetizer for a party, entertaining, or even date night. So if you're not familiar with charcuterie boards, charcuterie basically just means cold cured meats. So it's primarily meats with things that complement the meats, such as cheeses, pickles, olives, a little bit of low carb, low carb fruit, nuts, seeds, or anything else you can think of. So for the board, you can really use any flat surface that you prefer. I'm using a wooden cutting board, but you can also use a tray or even a lined baking sheet if you prefer. When arranging your board, I like to always start with the bowls. Um, I like to put on at least one thing pickled. Today I'm using some olives and some miniature pickles. And I'm also, I'd like to add a at least something sweet. And so for my sweet, I'm adding um, raspberries, which is a nice low carb berry. And I'm also putting on some hummus because I have some crackers, some keto crackers, and this is just great for dipping, or you could even add some uh, chopped bell peppers or other vegetables to dip in the hummus. And when picking out your bowls, you don't need to be matchy. You can just uh, kind of mix and match what you want and arrange them randomly on the board. It's supposed to be kind of, kind of messy and full and not matchy at all. So after you have your bowls, the next thing that we're gonna add are our meats. And since this is a charcuterie board, which means meat, I like to have at least three different kinds of meats because you would like a variety to serve to your guests. For one of the meats, I always like to use prosciutto because it's one of my favorites and I think it just looks so pretty. And when you take it off of the little paper, you just hold it vertical and you just kind of drop it straight down onto the board and then kind of take the edges, lift the edges up and it just creates a nice airy ribbon like look. And I just kind of go all along and make a nice, you can make like a straight line or you can go around one of the bowls, whatever design you like. I usually like to make a diagonal line across the board with my prosciutto. Now that we have our prosciutto, it's going all the way across the board. It's gorgeous. It's kind of in a ribbon shape. And the next thing I'm going to add is some hard salami. And so when you have large round circles, I like to fold them into quarters. I fold them once and then I fold them twice into kind of like a triangle shape. And you can either um, fold them into kind of like a deck of cards and, and lay them out. But what I like to do is I like to make a border out of it. I like to place it on the edge and then just kind of stack them on top of each other and then just kind of go all the way across the board. And you can really fold your meats any way that you would like that's pleasing to the eye. Just however you do it, make sure that they're light and airy and they're not like compacted together. For my third and final meat, I am gonna use some rolled up turkey. I always like to use at least one kind of deli meat because not everyone is super adventurous and likes prosciutto or salami or something like that. So I always use the deli meat. And then on my cheeses, I always like to use cheddar cheese because everyone likes cheddar cheese. <laughs> now that we have our bowls on and we have our meats looking gorgeous, the next thing we add is our cheese. I have three different kinds of cheese. I have a brie that is uh, cut into little triangles. I have some Gouda that I have cubed. And I also have some cheddar that is in slices. And when you're adding your cheese, just look for a variety of different kinds of cheeses and try to cut them differently. The key to a nice charcuterie board is to have a variety of shapes, sizes, colors, texture. Just remember that the variety is what makes a good charcuterie board. And so I like to cut mine in all different shapes and sizes with different, with different colored cheeses. And you can do a variety of soft cheeses and hard cheeses as well. Now it's time for the very last element. For lastly, we're gonna add some crackers. I'm using some keto crackers from my Keto Breads cookbook. Um, I will have the link to the cookbook in the description below. And since I have hummus, I'm gonna put the crackers mainly around the bottom part of, of the hummus and kind of close to the brie because it goes 
really good with the brie, but I'll also just kind of um, scatter it around. Now that I've add, added my crackers, we're going to add, you'll add any um, fresh herbs that you would like to add. I'm going to just put a little bit of rosemary here and some basil um, just for a little bit of color. And I have some sliced strawberries just to kind of put randomly throughout the board because I always, in addition to the meats and cheeses, like I said, I like to have at least one thing pickled and a little bit of sweet to kind of just balance everything out. And you don't really want empty spaces. You really want to fill the whole board with food. And if you end up with some bare spaces, it's really gorgeous to maybe just take some mixed nuts and sprinkle them in the bare areas. And one more element that adds just a little bit of extra um, color and texture and flavor that I like to add. Um, I have some sugar-free jam. I'm just going to spread it on top of the brie here. This is optional. You definitely don't have to do this. Oh, I'm spilling it. Um, but it just kind of adds a lot of flavor to the brie because some some the brie is really really mild and um, it just this sugar-free jam just complements it so well especially if you're eating it with some of the keto crackers and like I said it just adds a lot of variety because you want a variety of colors and textures and it just makes the board look that much more gorgeous <laughs> and so I think I think this is it this is our keto charcuterie board um, if you have any questions leave them for me in the comments below and if you would like a uh, step-by-step written instructions I will have the link to the written instructions on my website below and if you liked this recipe and you would like to see more keto recipes like this be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell